Will the next act manage to leave a lasting impression on the judges? It's 51-year-old caterer David Watson. Hello, sir. Hello. Please. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Hiya. Please. What's your name? My name's David, by the way. David? Yes. Nice to see you. And what are you doing for us today, David? Uh, I'm doing an impressionist. Three MPs, one Tony Blair, uh -huh. Liam Haig and David Blunkett. I've been doing impressions of politicians and I've been working for it for months. I've got the confidence I am going to be the next big impressionist because I want my name up in lights. But will the judges and the audience see David's potential? Good luck. What's your name? My name is David J. Watson, and I'm from Sale, Cheshire. And my performance is uh, impressionist. You're an impressionist. Yes. Okay. Three. And what MPs. Three MPs, yeah. right. Tony Blair. Actually, William you know what? Actually, Go. David. We won't need yeah. to yeah, David. We'll Normally, we should be the ones to guess. That's the idea of being an uh, impressionist. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Don't tell them. Hello, I'm Jimmy Savile. <laughs> Why do you think you could and should win Britain's Got Talent? Well, it's just like me saying to you, Simon. Why do you want to do Britain's Got Talent? Well, they're slightly different roles. Um, I, I, I'm just curious why you think you could win, that's all. Well, it's because I, I believe in myself, I can do it. All right, ready when you are, David. Right, thanks. Here we go, here we go. This is it. Mr Speaker, we've... S We've put taxes up because of uh, global warming. <laughs> and that's... Who's this? Who's this? I think it's still David, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound like anybody. Can the Prime Minister tell us how much British taxes have put up? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> scared us. I'm really scared. Up. He's put He's put in place up. He wants to ditch a pen to go to Europe. A man has both Simon's both Piers. Piers is obviously joining. <laughs> Piers is, you know. From a political background. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what's happened here? <laughs> this is Blunkett, this is David Blunkett. <laughs> I would like to congratulate Northern Ireland. I don't want to tinker with it. <laughs> but I feel I must. <laughs> I really want to. No. I... <laughs> I wanted to see more of that. Right, David, I'm not being rude, but... The rest of it's going to be. You are the worst impressionist I have ever heard and seen in my life. <laughs> Everything sounded the same, other than... No, no, you put a beard on. Yeah, well... <laughs> Who was the first one? Tony Blair. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, Simon, I did get over throughout when people shouting off I just, I just well. lost myself completely. <laughs> Don't say that, though. No, <laughs> just... <laughs> well. The reason they were doing that was because you were rubbish. Right David, you're, you're, you're very sweet, but I think if you're, if you're wanting, if you're nervous because of them shouting off, then you're in the wrong business. I actually think in your case, it's probably quite a good idea if you do say at the start who you're going to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, vote. Simon, yes or no? Uh, ab absolutely not, David. I thought it was awful. Amanda? No, sorry. Sorry, though. <laughs> OK, cheers. Pop out there, isn't it? Yeah, that was... Uh... Right. 
a bit of a blow. Possibly the worst impersonator I have ever heard <laughs> ever, in my life. Ever, oh ever. My God, I mean, his Tony Blair was the worst impression I've ever heard of anyone. Didn't even know that was who it was. No, really well, it wasn't. Well, he had a red tie on. <laughs> so for now, David's dreams of fame and fortune are over, and it's back to the old kit.